Hi, my name is Lauren Green and I'm a junior animal science major at the University of Vermont. I'm currently taking Advanced Animal Nutrition, ASI 242, and we're doing a chicken experiment. The goal of this experiment is to see the effects that different supplements have on the color of the yolk. So I'm going to walk you through the procedure first and then afterwards I'll elaborate on the yolk color. To start, we step in the sanitizer water to prevent tracking and diseases to the chicken enclosures. We also do this on the way out. There are three different dietary treatments. The first one has 0.1% of daily dry matter intake as ground paprika. The second group has 0.1% of daily dry matter intake as marigold flour extract. And then finally, the control group does not have any supplement added to it, it's just the chicken feed. Each of the diet treatment groups has the same breeds and quantities of chicken. There are two black Australorps, as shown in the top left, three Rhode Island Reds in the top right, and one Red Star on the bottom left, and one Bard Plymouth Rock on the bottom right. All the groups are fed this nutritionally balanced Purina chicken feed. As mentioned earlier, the control group only got this feed while the other groups had a small amount of paprika or marigold flour extract added in. The food refusals and offered were recorded each day. Since the chickens are in enclosures with groups, they are fed together and their average individual water and feed intake can be found by dividing the weights by seven, which is the amount of chickens per pen. Here are the paprika and marigold used. Each group was offered about 1,500 grams of dry food and about 3,500 to 4,000 grams of water per day. The chickens were also weighed every day. A change in this parameter could indicate that the supplements are having effects on the animal's digestion and utilization of energy. However, no change was noted and none was expected since very small amounts of the supplements were used and they did not change the diet. Here's the area where the chickens were provided to lay their eggs. The eggs would be weighed and broken open. The yolk color would be compared to the yolk color fan. This is a scale of 1 to 15, with 1 being the lightest and 15 being the darkest. This value would be written down and the changes observed over time between treatment groups. Unfortunately, the chickens in this experiment never ended up laying eggs, so we couldn't truly see firsthand the effect that the supplements had on the yolk. However, this study has been done before, and our instructors were able to provide us a data sheet with the information of the egg yolks and weights, theoretically. So I'm going to explain the results and why they occurred and the significance to consumers and farmers. Paprika and marigold both contain pigments that can change the color of yolks when added to the feed without changing the nutrient profile of the feed. The family of pigments that include both paprika and marigold pigments is called xanthophylls. They are absorbed through the intestinal tract in the chicken and are incorporated into the lipoproteins that are released into the bloodstream. They can then circulate in the blood and get deposited in the yolk. Using the data set provided, both the paprika and marigold groups presented darker egg yolks over time. The control group remained around four or five on the yolk color fan throughout the experiment, while the paprika ranged from five to eight by the end, and marigold was even a little higher, with scores between six and 10. This is important because consumers typically prefer a more orange yolk to a pale one. Yolk color is determined by the diet and the pigments in the diet. So even with a perfectly nutritionally balanced diet, the hens may yield undesirable pale yolks because the food is light in color. With a small amount of the pigments added to the feed, the eggs would likely be considered more appetizing by people and increase the farm's sales. Additionally, the best available feed, considering nutrition, availability, and convenience, could still be used without considering how it would affect the yolk color, since adding the pigments would make it orange regardless of the color of the original feed. In conclusion, adding paprika or marigold to chicken feed is a simple and affordable way for farmers to increase consumer satisfaction and sales without compromising the nutritive quality of the eggs.